controlled chaos here. I have some really exciting news for you guys. Purgatory has a big update that came out just before Thanksgiving and it has a lot of cool stuff. So what this update does is it adds in over 20 new power sets split between all of the archetypes. And this is really cool because this isn't new new power sets. This is taking power sets like fire and ice and putting them together in one power set. And it's not just a, a little bit of fire, a little bit of ice for one archetype. It's all of fire and ice from one archetype put in, in there. And it's both for primaries and secondaries. And they chose different ones for different things. So let me get in and show you what I'm talking about. We're going to start off with, of course, melee. And we're going to start with scrappers. And yeah, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see them here. And there's things like Dark Claws, Rad Strength, Street Arts. You got things like for secondaries, you have Energy Region, Fire Region, Rad Region. If you go over to Tankers, they have different ones there. And like uh, Electric Reflexes, Invulnerability Power, Rad Shock. And you got uh kinetic energy psychic shock and super and stone for the secondaries and a lot of them do that but if you go in here especially when you go to let's say your pets and you go in and do pets and you do a mastermind let's say where you have really good pet control. You have beast and mercs and necros and demons, robots and necros. And what's really nice about this is especially when you do the masterminds, you get both sets of pets you can have up. So instead of having just six pets, you can have a total of 12 pets. Now, some people might think that, well, this is a little overpowering, but here's the thing. It's not because you're only given so many powers you can have and you're still locked into that number of powers. So you're having to give up either another attack power or a buff power or a heal power or a res power or tra uh, travel power, things like that that you have to give up. Maybe an epic pool power that you wanted. You have to give up to really figure out what you want. And that's really, really cool. For instance, if you go into to here, you'll see what I'm talking about, where you have all of them here for necros and demons. And that's really, really nice. You know, you get demon summoning, you get the, the demon hordes, you have the summon demons, the grave knights, the uh, summon demon prince, and the lich. And you got all those, and you can still choose all the main things in here to, like, buff them up. You know, like they have upgrade one, which buffs all of your pets. Then you have the uh, dark empowerment, which is the secondary to buff all your pets. The problem is, is that if you choose all of the primaries, you're not going to be able to have any secondaries. So you really have to plan the character out. But what I like about this is the fact that you can do like what I did when I created a character. I created a mastermind that did one that was the Demon Necro, which you just saw when I was explaining the uh, masterminds and how they work. But I also created Dominator that is Earth Flames, and then I chose Molten Earth for the attacks. And the Earth Flames has all of your, your hold capabilities. Now, yeah, a lot of these stack, but that might be a good thing because if one fails, you have the other as backup. And that's really nice. That adds on to capabilities. But if you double stack on here, like let's say, for instance, you take Stone Prison and Fire Ring, that's two that you can hold at one time early on instead of uh, regular. 
and that's good, but also you're not going to be able to take another power. You're still limited in what you're able to do. So the build out of your character is going to be way different than someone else's build out of an earth flame character. You're going to be choosing different powers. So not only are you going to look different, your powers are going to be different. And then how you slot those enhancements also makes a difference. And I really, really like this. It's well thought out. It's not the free form that uh, New Dawn or, or also known as We Have Cake has because We Have Cake has when you choose the free form, when you choose, let's say, Stone Prison, you can't choose Ring of Fire or any other power in uh, of that level. So you're still locked in when you make a mastermind those six pets and that one power for that one level and that's okay that's cool this opens up the freedom more it gives you more choice and if you're worried well they don't have a combination i like here wait because guess what in late december they're releasing a hundred and twenty of these. That is their goal. I'm hoping they reach that goal and they're able to meet it in time. But that is what they're working on right now is adding a hundred and twenty more power sets like these. And that's going to be really, really interesting because I want to make a mastermind that is mercs and ninjas. I want to make a characters, different characters, and this really rejuvenated my creativity for making characters in City of Heroes when I saw and I played with this. It made it very fun. And then, of course, I had to go to Purr. I had to complain to Purr that, darn it, you reinvigorated my altaholic problem. I got back under control, and now it's not because I'm coming up with multiple new character ideas i had to really keep it under control to work on this video so that i could get the footage and the information for you guys but we're not done yet because there are some other things they did i want to go back into the melee and want to go into stalker and what i want to show you guys is that they have added in not just those things but if you look here, you actually have in the defense line, you look right here, roll down, you have stone armor. You can get stone armor on that character. And that's really, really nice. I really like that idea. There's even more that they have done though. They've added more to other characters so the stone armor has also been added into the sentinel so if i go to sentinels here i'll actually show you that it has stone armor too which is really really nice so we'll go to secondary and we scroll down and there is stone armor this adds a lot to it so they're taking some of those other power sets that weren't there originally and adding them in to these classes which i really really like i think that is really cool and fun what i want to know from you guys is what do you guys think of these new power sets such as the fire region the rad reflexes the will electric and stuff like that where they're combining two power sets and creating a whole entire new power set giving you access to all those powers and you get to pick and choose to be able to make a fire ice type character where it's not just your fire attack and ice defense or ice attack and fire defense but your attacks and your defenses are both and you get that choice i personally like that it opens up more freedom but i want to hear what you guys think and have a nice day